Hi, my name is Brandon Estenis. I'm a software engineer at Partners in Health and a member of the MicroFrontend squad. Today I'm going to share with you the vision that we have for the OpenMRS Frontend 3.0 implementer tools, which are the admin interface for Frontend 3.0. A lot of what I'm going to demonstrate is already implemented, a lot is under construction, and some things are planned. But I think this should give you an impression of the kind of power that the Frontend extension system makes possible. Okay, I've logged in as an administrator, so I see a special little button in the corner, which I'm going to click. This is the Ed Implementer Tools interface. Immediately, it shows the configuration of the application. I'm going to change the color of the buttons. Some helpful info is displayed to the right. Note that this isn't a real config option. It's just for example here. How about pink? Well, there it is. Clearly, this was a grave mistake, so I'm just going to go back to the defaults. I can also configure extensions on this page. I see that there's a slot called Buttons. Let's say I want to remove the patient registration link. I hit the Remove button, type the name, presto, blamo, gone. But there's an easier and, if you'll believe it, more fun way about this. Let's turn on the UI editor. You'll notice it's highlighted the slot and shows its name. I can hover to view information about individual extensions within the slot. Here's the patient reg link. And I can just hit the X button and it's gone. And another. Boom. Let's add a link, shall we? An autocomplete pops up that lists the available extensions. Let's add ward management. There it is. But we don't want it at the end, so let's reorder it. Click to drag. It probably won't get the fun angle in real life, but this is my slide deck, so it will have fun angles. And there it is. It's added the order element to the slot configuration. Let's get rid of this real quick and add a new link, a custom link. Cool. Let's check it out. It has a new little icon, which means configure. Let's click that. And it's added this new section to the config in the implementer tools. Let's make this link a link to up to date. We change the label and change the URL. Done. If we click the UI editor off, we see that this is what the page now looks like. Okay, but this is just local to my machine. So to share it, I can download the config file. I can commit this JSON to version control to Git and install it on any number of OpenMRS instances as long as they have Frontend 3.0 and the necessary modules. So this up-to-date example was pretty contrived, obviously, but hopefully it's easy to imagine how this kind of thing would make implementing things like patient summary widgets a breeze. As many widgets as you like. I hope I'm giving you a sense of what's possible in the new system. Here's a sneak preview of the new designs, and also, check it out. Concept lookup by name, right there in the editor. No more futzing with UIDs. Which is to say, anything is possible. The sky is the limit. Thank you. Thank you for your time, and a huge thank you to the rest of the Micro Frontend Squad for your support in making this thing real.